Hello everyone and welcome. My name is Jeff and today we are going to have some fun playing Magic and the fun thing that we're trying to do is we are playing Throne of Eldraine cards in M20 standard because we got six different cards, Heraldic Banner being one of those. As it enters the battlefield you choose a color, creatures of the chosen color get plus one plus oh and you can add mana of the chosen color. Well we're playing it in a two color deck which makes absolutely no sense at all. I was initially going to play it just in, in a Cranko deck with goblins but then I was realizing I haven't done Cranko and Angelic, Angelic Exaltation in a long time or Divine Visitation. We can also just do some really fun synergistic stuff. Heroic Banner can be played on red and white. If we end up finding two of them, we can get lots of value from stuff. So this is just going to be really fun. If we have it on red, all of Krinko tokens get, get pumped and get, get more value. Chandra's tokens get pumped and get more value. If we have Divine Visitation, we have Heraldic Banner on white, then all of our Angel tokens get more value. Uh, this is just one of those like fun janky decks. We also kind of have a little bit of a, of an, uh, a knight synergy of Inspiring Veteran, Ben Marshall and History of Benalia. Uh, honestly, Inspiring Veterans should probably not be in the deck, but we're having fun playing Magic and we're doing uh, new fun stuff with uh, with our new cards. And it's one of the only new card that fit into it, so we're doing it. All right, let's get into the gameplay, see how this does. We're playing this live up in direct challenges against you guys. Uh, and who is up next? All right, up against T Ray, and we are playing Heraldic Krenko. <laughs> and. Uh, we're going to see if this works. This is a really janky deck. There's a lot of fun synergistic potential in there and some things that aren't as synergistic, I guess, but I like it. Um, the thing I like about Heraldic Banner as well is if we need the mana for Benish Marshall, we can give mana for Benish Marshall by turning everything on white. We actually want something on red and something on white. So keep this. It's not the best hand, but if we find land for Heraldic Banner, we can at least play all of our stuff. And we also have Hailer's Hawk with Angelic Exaltation, which is amazing. Yeah, this is kind of a, a weird deck, <laughs> I'm realizing. All right, Temple of Triumph. Let's find that white man on top or double his Cerebinale. Yeah, I mean, OK. Swing on in there. Down to 19, pass the turn. We're going to go History of Benalia, History of Benalia. Hopefully we find the lands along the way uh, for Benelish Marshall to play in there as well. And that's not bad whatsoever not too shabby swing down 18 past the turn no Devin uh so I can I can choose which ability will resolve with the summoner and exaltation because it because they both trigger when you go to attack so with the summoner and angelic exaltation um you can pay for it, um, and, it's, and then Tillinoli Summary will resolve before the an Angelic Exaltation, if I choose to have that happen that way. As long as she's the only one attacking. And attack in while they just have a 0 4. Yep, yep, yep. Alright, Heraldic Banner onto white is actually going to be pretty good. Prove you wrong. Dude, I will gladly... If we get to make this actually happen, it'll be sweet. I'm going to go for Heraldic Banner here. Oh! Nice. No. Oh, righty then. All right, what do we play this on? I don't think we can play the Tilly Nelly Summer right now. Let's go on white for this one, past the turn. We get a swing in with this guy for next turn, which is pretty nice. Oh, that was so rude. That's rude. Dang it, that's gonna suck. All right, well, we get Benelish Marshall off to at least kill this guy. Cranko. Do we go for the other Heraldic Banner on red or white again? Let, let's just play Benelish Marshall. We get a swing in with a 6 4. Down to 11. 
Oh man, we have so many of the pieces that we want right now. We just don't have the mana to play them effectively. And this is how many lands we've missed. All right, let's see what he brings in. Oh no! Oh, I was thinking we could handle anything, but not that. And it lets us not even kill the agent in response. Go ahead and go for the flame sweep. Might as well. Just kill everything. Anticipate. All right, cool. Dude, this is good though. Down to nine. I do think we would have had a decent chance if we weren't so mana screwed. Maybe not, they have a lot of stuff. If they were mana screwed, life would have been good. But now they just take anything, like literally anything. So let's give them a Krenko to take. Uh, let's play this on red. Just so we can prove Devin wrong. <laughs> and the quench, all right. If you counter me, I have the right to concede. <laughs> that was sweet, yeah. Uh, Ilharg with the... Uh, I, I like it actually with the Drake as well. There's there's a lot of fun stuff in that in that combo that you can go with. I have not seen uh, red-white very often. Good job, Terry. It's called the Hamburglar. <laughs> oh, that is good. <laughs> that, that's a good name for it, too. I might need to steal that from you. Terry, uh, yeah, send me the decklist on that on Discord or something. That's just too good of a name not to use. All right, OG Tahoe. I feel like every time I say Tahoe, I have to go like even more of a hick sound. All right, keeping this. Healer's Hawk into Summoner into uh, Legion's Landing. Hopefully flip it with... Oh, no, we don't get to you. Healer's Hawk. Ooh, we do get to flip Legion's Landing. This is mostly just so we can get the ramp. You got a class, what'd you miss? Uh, we've played, this is our fifth deck for the day that we were playing here. Tormenting Voice. Oh no. Oh, that's so bad. But this is so good. Chandra. Chandra, you need more control. Say hi to my fiery friends. Down to 15. Next turn we get Angelic Exaltation. We pump uh we play these guys and just swing in with the healer's hawk, which gains us crap, tons of life. So we can stay alive against uh their all the shenanigans they're doing here. Hopefully we can just win in a turn. Or we go for Benelish Marshal and Tilanali Summoner here. Benelish Marshal seems really good. And Tilanali Summoner seem really good. Don't worry. I brought company. Yeah. That's good. <laughs> Channeling inner inner jank. <laughs> God eternal Kefnet. All right, here we go. So this is what we do. So angelic exaltation would be really fun to kind of grow one thing and go. But uh, with Benelish Marshall out there, it's actually better just to go for a bigger Tilanali Sumner swing. So um, take action. X4. They all get to stay on the battlefield as well. Just a little bit of damage. Oh, don't kill him yet. See if it works. He was going to get out Dracuset the next turn, though. All right, we were going to test out to see if Angelic Exaltation would work there or whatever. That was the better play. People get angry at me when I do good plays. People get mad at me when I do bad plays. It's all just what happens. I'm just kidding, Devin. <laughs> No, we could do it. If someone wants to play to kind of just test it out too, that'd be kind of fun. Because this deck, I feel like it can do some crazy fun stuff. Who's up next?
But for science. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. Dude, I'm telling you, Devin, it works. It works. Because they both trigger at the same time, so then you can order which triggers happen, which then it'll resolve the one that we trigger first. So what will happen is it'll create all of the tokens. And then, I mean, as long as... I I, I can't remember because I haven't looked at it in a while, but I'm pretty sure Tillanelli Miss Summer uh, happens as she attacks, which Angelic Consultation also says as long as there's one attacking, which also means it triggers as it attacks. Pretty sure... I'm a, I'm a genius. <laughs> All right. Liquid Adam, let's do this madness. Uh, play, play the best that you can, Liquid, as well. But. All right. We have Krenko. We have Heraldic Banner. We have everything else. We're going to keep. We have another Krenko. How do you add new cards? We'll, we'll wait. We'll just play Crank. We'll, all we're going to do is just swing in with Cranko over and over again. What deck is this? This is Heraldic Cranko with our new card from Throne of Eldraine, Heraldic Banner. Uh, we get to play with six different cards for the time of now. Because of awesomeness. Okay, Memorial to Glory. We actually have Benelish Marshall, which is butter. I mean, that alone is a pretty good turn <laughs> into lighter for the next turn, but we're just going to go for banner on the red creatures. Let's see if they have time wipe. Oh, yeah, okay. That's cool. So the better play is Lyra, but we're going to go for Krenko. Actually, wait a minute on red. Now we're playing Cranko. Which is so bad if we end up needing it on white later on, but whatever. Ugin. My presence alone will guide you towards the tomb of my plans. Yeah, 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 that's cool. Now we find Angelic Exaltation. We're gonna kill the Ugin pretty quick. No, we're not! Oh my goodness. Truth lies beyond vision. Golos. Sweet. This is a Golos deck? It's all um, green and blue so far. There's black. Chandra is decent. All right, Chandra. Chandra Nalar, pyromancer extraordinaire. Mostly. Um, we can't actually attack in here with this. Oh wait, I meant to put loyalty counter on her. Oh well. Oh, they are two twos. We let them. We kill one of their guys at least. I am going to go ahead and swing in, trying to kill Ugin. They have blockers for it. Oh, no, block that way. That was great. <laughs> they get the card draw, but we also get a, a body off the battlefield so we can make this happen. Uh, Heraldic Banner with Chandra, though. Like, I do think that Mono Red with Heraldic Banner is actually pretty, pretty decent. Chromatic Lantern. All right, they have the Golos. They already have Golos right there. Secrets manifest before you. Secrets manifest before you. Brilliant. Ugin's like the perfect stopper for all the things that we're trying to do. If we find Tillinoli Summoner, he's got to let it happen, though. Hey, these little guys are 
great. Uh, we are going to swing at everything. Even though we got out Angelic Exaltation, we need to swing everything at Ugin. Banner or Cavalcade? Obeys me. Uh, you can you can still run. I would actually prefer Banner in some instances because then you're not stuck to just one tough one power creatures, or one toughness, I guess. But hey, all right. Time, you're toast. Sarkin. No sword can. <laughs> now Tilinoli is going to die before the trigger happens because their trigger happens before my triggers happen. That does help a bit. I'm going to attack you. Watch this. I think he blocked before the uh, Angelic Exaltation triggered. Alright, gonna sacrifice I some stuff. Sarkin makes Ugin help. an actual Easy dragon. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so good. <laughs> this is a sweet deck that he's running here. I just, I got really blown out. This was actually a really powerful starting hand for us. We just got way blown out. All right, Angelic Exaltation. The life gain, life linker is actually really good for us. And if we can flip Legion's Landing, we can keep making that happen. Next turn, if we keep the lifelinker alive, we can Memorial to Glory, swing in with him. I will consume you. It's a 9-9. We're just basically giving him cards, though. You can wait for the combo if you want. I only have one Tillinoli Summoner in the deck. Um... So you don't have to. I'm gonna draw lots of cards. Five cards with including these ones here. You have another Golos trigger too if you want, right? Only play them till the end of turn though. You're getting to the point where you can almost ca uh, use Golos twice though, which is sweet. Time wipe for free. So you can go those twice. Go, go ahead and go off as much as you can. Yeah, there you go. That's pretty good. So now you have the Liliana ultimate. Definitely going to be dead. <laughs> this is fun things about playing up against guys. I do kind of want to see if we can do some fun stuff with this, but... Uh, I mean, we can already tell what's going to happen. What would be fun is if I found a Cranko. Swing in for two. I thought you couldn't use it once they turn into dragons. Oops. Oh right, yeah, you, you can go ahead and kill me. <laughs> At this point, that's that's fine. And the brass is content. All right, all right. Now you're just showing off. This is really cool, though. We're gonna we're gonna do one more of these. Ah, <laughs> uh, that was that was really fun. All right, let's do this madness. Uh, I got him mulligan that away. Was a beautiful hand, but not keepable. We find the red mana for Tajik. This can be decent. I think it's also a mulligan, though. 
All right, this we keep. Keep and we drop Divine Visitation and... Oh, it's probably Heraldic Banner. If I'm playing the right way, like, that's what we play. But we came to play Heraldic Banner, so we're going to drop History of Benali instead. For reasons that make no sense. Okay, here we go. All right, let's. You make me laugh. All right, we really don't want lands on top. That's the main thing we don't want here. And for them to use Thought Erasure against me. Okay, not a Thought Erasure. Good. Krenko! Yes! Krenko into Heraldic Banner. Into Chandra with it as well. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is the deck he was playing before. The Grixis Surveil. This deck looks sweet. You're gonna have to try the combo on your own. Sorry. Yeah, the Inspiring Veteran does look a little bit funky in this deck, huh? <laughs> we can actually play him on the next turn, though, which is weird. The Mirror Spy Bug gets to grow both these guys. Boo! <laughs> oh man, yeah, this Cervell deck is pretty sweet when it goes off. Grows the Demir Spy Bug, yep. We're basically dead in a couple turns. Down to 14. Healer's Hawk. Healer's Hawk and Kranko. These guys have Menace, so we can't actually block with the Healer's Hawk. Um, what we're hoping for is uh, Angelic Exaltation. If we can get Angelic Exaltation for this next turn, it'll be sweet. They should have kept that for the next turn. To stop our Cranko from growing. Experimental Frenzy. Dude, this deck is sweet. Uh, yeah, not gonna block the sprite. Uh, we also are just dead. There's nothing we can do to really come back from this. Yay, we get a swing. And we're gonna die. All right. Uh, if you want to, Solomon. It, it would be fun to get a, a something off with Krenko, but it's up to you. You definitely have me, yeah. So you have good game. Yeah, that's fine. It's always fun to, to go off with Krenko, but whatever. Yeah, this one, we actually had, I feel like, decent hands. Just, uh, that's really good. People, I don't think, are playing, like, no, no one really ended up playing Demir Spy Bug, which, with the removal in the format right now, it's not very good. It takes too many turns to get to where it's actually good. Uh, but yeah. All right, we're going to play this same one one more time because it's just fun. All right, this looks pretty decent. A lot of potential in this hand. A lot of the combo pieces that we wanted as well. Almost had a video go live at the wrong time. Can't have that. All right, Healer Sock, pa go past the turn. Justani and Domri is really good. Um, because of history, Benalia, we're gonna go for the veteran. Swing in. Down to 19. We're kind of going just to make the combo happen, though. Like, kind of going for Angelic Exaltation as much as we can here. Oh, 
hopefully we get to find a land next turn. Play like Heraldic Banner or History of Benalia and get to swing in. Flip. Legion's Landing for Inject Exaltation on the next turn. There's land. Um, I mean, the best play is History of Benalia. Cleansing Nova. Well, we got this flipped first, so that's good. That's really good, too. I'm going to go for Angelic Exaltation because I want to. Pass the turn. Double History Benalia would have been better, but... Guys, we're not here to do what's better. We're, doing, we're here to do what's fun. Prison Realm hits our knight. Okay. Was that a cleansing Nova? So they do, if they have another one of those, that's really bad for us. Um, we do need to get a creature out there. So go Aurelia. Mending of Dominaria, okay. Did you were you, like were, did you just barely do it? You have to order them in the right way so that the the stuff uh, hits the ground first. All right, so we're gonna pay the two life. Heraldic banner on white. Yeah, in this instance, we're gonna go white. Get a little pumpage. Down to nine. It just feels really off center. I'm not sure if you guys are noticing that, but every once in a while it does this, and it just feels so off center. I, th I think it's center based off of this stuff, not over here. Because like, like whenever these come down, it shifts everything over for the sagas. Well, yeah, so you should get more in I know you only get one trigger with with exaltation. I'm saying that all of the all of this stuff should come down before uh, Exaltation triggers is what my thoughts were I think they're debating on destroying all the artifacts there land exaltation number dose We want to get out the life linker so we can start gaining life that way. Dawn of Hope, so they have blockers all day long. Directing scriptures, okay. Memorial to Glory is pretty good. We know that stuff's gonna die on the next turn, but I want to swing in. <laughs> With war. So it's definitely smarter to play this after that kills everything. Do I do the smarter thing? No. Alright. We're having fun with this one. The inspiring veteran. Pass the turn. We can either go for the Memorial to Glory, but I think I'm wanting to create life linkers just to gain our get our life way out of the norm. They have another, uh, um, what's it called? Cleansing Nova, which they probably won't go for. I don't know. Bond of Flourishing. Captive audience, okay. <laughs> Do they have enough to play it here? Uh, 
Well, that's not good. That's also not good. Cranko's good. Cranko's great. So it's actually better to swing in with both here because we actually get in damage, but we're just going to gain life. Takes it down to four. It's the Argyle's Blood Fast Flip. Okay. Actually, they have to they have to trigger the ability before it works. Oh, you may transform. He decided not to transform it. All right, I feel a board wipe coming on. Yep. That's three of those. Did he shuffle everything back into his deck at some point? Oh, is it mending? Nice. Hey, Krinko. This is what we wanted to have happen the whole time. And he has Dawn of Hope to kind of just block this as well. And so it actually would be really fun to see how far we can make Kranko go. It was like a settle the wreckage. Okay, Ill-gotten inheritance. Here's the summoner. All right, well, we hopefully he'll let us have the chance to play it. All right, so go to combat, swing in with Kranko. Uh, we actually want. What's his life total at? I guess we have lethal, not really though. So we want want him to grow first so we can get more stuff. So grow him first. Five up to six. Yep, create six tokens. We had the other ex angelic exaltation. This would be good. No, because he ha yeah, he has a blocker for every turn. And so we can actually keep this going. So uh, Carlos, if you're listening, <laughs> this would be a golden opportunity to make this go crazy. Uh, <laughs> captive audience is really fun as well. And I also want to see, although Tillinale Summoner will kill him if we go too far with it. You just have another board wipe. You could just be rude. Don't, dude, don't, don't do it. <laughs> Here, let, let me, let me test out the Tillinale Summoner one time first and then, and then you can kill me. Thinking. <laughs> Devin needs this. <laughs> we have the other Krinko too. All right, so. It'd be fun to keep going with Krako. He probably has board wipe in hand. Uh, so one attacker. So what we're going to do is we're going to have Angelic Exaltation trigger before this to grow the Tillinale Summoner. So so Tillinale Summoner uh, happens first. Uh, take action. We're going to pay for... I, I can't kill him, so pay for four. Hey, 
And now it'll trigger with all of these creatures on the battlefield as well. That's what I was saying. See, so now it, she gets to be a 15-15. And which he can block. Yeah, so that's just kind of play testing, showing what, what's possible. Goes up to two. So he could have gone for one more, but. And pass the turn. What do you mean that makes no sense? Angelic Exaltation triggers based off the number of creatures that I control. After her ability triggers, it fully triggers because I, I layered it first. What the heck is a stack? <laughs> yeah, so that fully triggers and then Angelic Exaltation goes based off. Yeah, nice. <laughs> based off of uh, how many creatures I control, but because hers, tr like, in order for a trigger to resolve, it has to completely resolve the trigger. And the trigger is playing all of that stuff, yeah. So, Franco. Um, banner on red. Dude, this is this is a fun game. This is gonna be really fun. <laughs> yeah, whenever a creature I control attacks Sedone, so she did attack alone first. Yeah, so the start of camp combat happens. She attacks alone, so then it triggers. So the trigger is already on the stack. It doesn't fizzle when, as soon as she stops attacking alone. She's still attacking. Yeah, so let's uh, discard our hand, I guess it makes sense. Oh! That was cool. Does he not have a blocker here? I think there's a chance I can actually kill him, <laughs> but uh, so Krenko, this actually might kill him. Wait a minute. Oh crap, I think I just killed him. All right, well, that's that's how that goes. I, I meant to go a little bit longer. I. I I meant I I meant to switch up the the combo there to make that keep going. That was fun. Uh, <laughs> what a game though. That was that was really fun. All right, so that's the end of this video uh, with Heraldic Krenko, which dude, every time I get to play Krenko, life is good. Uh, Tillanami Summoner also just a really fantastic card.